Hello! Today I'm here to talk to you about how to install Gboard, Google's new keyboard designed for use with your mobile device. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to install Gboard on the iPhone. It's really easy. Just head to your app store and search for Gboard. Click on this icon here to install it. Now go into your general settings and then click on keyboard. Then click on keyboards again and finally choose to add a new keyboard. From here you should now have the option to install Gboard. Once you've installed it, let's open up a message to see how this works. First, the built-in search functionality is hugely useful. So if I'm texting a message to someone and need to look up an address, I can just tap the search icon, enter my query, and get a quick answer without ever having to switch back and forth between apps. The incorporation of predictive emojis is also a great feature. Instead of having to open up a separate interface with all of my available emojis, I can just type a term that represents the emoji, like this, and it will pop up as a suggestion for what I'm trying to type. This makes using the small graphic elements much quicker in the flow of a conversation. GIFs are sometimes the best way to get across what you're trying to communicate, and Gboard has additional functionality aimed at incorporating GIFs into your regular conversations. Just hit the emoji icon and you'll see the GIF option. Once you tap that, you have the option to browse or search for a GIF, which you can then easily insert into your message. Now, if you don't like any of these features, or any of the others that Gboard contains that we haven't covered yet today, just head to your Gboard settings. Here you can customize how you want your Gboard to work, giving you very precise control over the app. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.